Hello again, um, this is again a uh, video on Reaper 221 this time. There was a small bug in 220 which prevented me to make the video that I wanted to do. Um, but after the bugs is fixed, I can now uh, show you the features uh, which are now basically enabling banks in Reaper that can be controlled from the X32. So, let's start. You can see here that I have a X32 with all the default values being applied to the console. So, basically all the channels are back to their initial default values. And what I'm doing right now is starting Reaper. Again, remember that you should be starting Reaper, um, uh, X32 Reaper before starting Reaper so that the values from your Reaper setup will come to the X32. Okay, so I'm connecting and running. The system tells me that my uh, overall setup is ready and ready to go. You can also see that I've checked this button here, um, which says, you know, channel bank select. And that enables uh, channels being handled by banks of 32 channels and you can move up and down in the, those banks. So let's start Reaper and I have set up a template which has 64 Reaper tracks okay and those tracks are going to be reflected in the X32. Um, so you can see my Reaper setup right now and you can also see that from that setup my X32 has been changed in such a way that now my channels are reflecting you know the colors as well as the names that have been sending up you know from Reaper um, and those names basically you can find them uh, if I change banks these are you know the channel 17 to 32 the auxiliaries as well which I changed you know and, and a series of other uh, things um, so what I'm doing at this point is basically playing with only the 64 first channels and I'm going to use them by banks of 32. So let's say that I want to move you know the fader number one which is here okay and I'm going to move this fader. I expect of course the X32 fader to reflect on Reaper as well and this is what happens. Um, sorry, there is something that comes up that should not. Okay. Now, once I've done this, um, of course, I can also set other channels. Okay. And I can now actually, if I want to change the channel number 33 to 64, this is something that I cannot do from the X32 um, uh, setup because I have only 32 channels to play with but with this version of the program I can actually go here and play with you know those two buttons here which are buttons 9 and 10 which can, I can use for bank up and bank down doing a bank up actually will do the following I switch the bank and all of a sudden you can see that my Reaper uh, setup with the colors as well as the channel numbering and scribbles have been transferred to the X32 and my faders for channel 33 this time is down and if I move that fader up you will see that the actual fader number 33 will move up as well on Reaper. Now let's go back a little bit in space here so I can have more uh, things to show. Okay, now if I switch back between um, banks 1 and 0, I'm currently on bank 1 addressing channels 33 to 64 and I have this which is up with those colors. Okay, if I switch back to bank number 0 by pressing on button 10 the following will happen. My channels are coming back to whatever was set up for the first bank with all the yellow colors as well as the positions of my faders for bank one. And I can move back, you know, between bank 
one, bank zero. And if I had more banks to play with, I could do that, of course. Now, this actually is valid for the faders. It's also valid for, you know, the different buttons, uh, such as solo, mute, select is also following, you know, and I will show you that in a minute. But if I, you know, here I just changed, for example, the mute button uh, for channel one in bank zero. If I do that on Reaper rather than the X32, I can do that, of course. But what will happen then? Well, let's say I'm actually changing one of those here, you know, in Reaper. So my channel number 34 in Reaper is now on mute. If I switch back my bank to reflect, you know, the second bank of Reaper on my X32, I'm expecting actually channel 34 to be muted and this is exactly what will happen. Channel number 2 on my X32, which corresponds to bank number 2, channel um, 34 in Reaper, is actually muted. So this all works for the pan, uh, the scribbles, the select, the solo buttons, all the scribbles which I've showed you in a different video that you can change the colors as well as the icons, uh, the fader positions and also all the mix buses that are um, uh, assigned to uh, different channels. Okay, I hope you like it. Thank you. Bye-bye.